Prisons are scary places, full of even scarier people. But behind bars, no one is more feared than one man known as Charles Bronson. Now, I'm not talking about the movie star, but the prisoner who took on the same name. He's known as Britain's most violent and feared prisoner. Despite him spending so much of his life in solitary confinement, his story is fascinating. And he's even been played by Tom Hardy in the movie Bronson. So today let's find out why Charles Bronson is the most feared man on earth. I'm Charlie and today we're going to look at the most feared prisoner in the world. But before he finds out where I live and delivers some street justice, why not subscribe and press the notification bell too. Charles Bronson was born Michael Gordon Peterson. He was born on the 6th of December 1952, and that makes him 67 years old today. He's been referred to as the most violent prisoner in Britain and the most notorious man in the UK. Over the 67 years he's been alive, he's been detained at some of the most high security psychiatric hospitals and prisons. This includes Broadmoor, Ashworth, and Rampton. He began as a petty criminal with armed robbery, but he then began bare-knuckle boxing in East London. It was at this time he changed his name to Charles Bronson, like the American actor. In 1988, he went back to prison for another robbery, but there he was aggressive to many inmates and took some hostage. He made the hostages he took tickle his feet and also play music to him. At this time, the guards realized he was too much to handle, so he was placed in total isolation for many months. During during this time, he had no concept of whether it was night or day, so he was kept in total darkness. And he was also not allowed to wear any clothing. When he was finally released, he hit a prisoner named John Henry Gallagher with a glass jug. He was then kicked out of that prison and went to around four more prisons in this time. Because he kept getting into trouble, he was switched routinely around four prisons. These prisons were Armley, Wakefield, Parkhurst, and Walton. These are some of the most dangerous and scary prisons in the UK. But everywhere he went, the inmates feared him more than anything else and he was transported from all of these prisons, chained to the floor of a prison van. During the time going between these four prisons, he began a fitness program, and he even wrote a book which sold thousands of copies. This was called Solitary Fitness because he did all of his fitness in solitary confinement. The book has been reviewed very well with four stars, but critics have said it does sometimes get very, very strange and bizarre at some points. When he was finally settled into a new prison, he attacked two guards. And during this time, his wife on the outside had also found a new man. When the divorce papers finally got to Bronson, who was behind bars, he went crazy. He attempted to poison the prisoner in the cell next to him, and that's when he was moved to Parkhurst Prison. During this time, he befriended the Cray Twins. He described the Cray Twins as the best two guys I've ever met. But many know the Cray Twins as being part of the Cray Gang. They are arguably some of the most dangerous gangsters in British history. Eventually, he almost took the life of a prison officer. So he was put in isolation for four months and then moved to yet another prison. After that, he tried to dig his way out of his cell, but another inmate who knew of his escape plan had snitched on him. This caused Bronson to attack that prisoner, scarring him for life. Bronson was then moved to a prison on the Isle of Wight, but there he attacked a prisoner with a jam jar, causing terrible injuries. He also attempted to take his own life and that of a prison officer. Soon he was transferred to Rampton Secure Hospital, which is a hospital for the criminally insane. But there he encountered John White. John White had taken the life of a child. Bronson wanted revenge for this and tried to take John White's life. Bronson said his worst days were in Rampton Secure Hospital. That's because the people in there had done things I can't even say in this video. The people there were also very crazy. They would run headfirst into walls. They would also injure themselves with pens, pins, and scissors. He also saw people blinding themselves and biting their arms, legs, and feet. He was then moved back to Broadmoor, but at Broadmoor, he performed a rooftop protest. He climbed to the roof of the prison with many other prisoners. He also tore off many roof tiles and caused nearly a quarter million dollars worth of damage. His rooftop protest went on for three days, and he only stopped when he was talked down by his family. Later on, he took up art and began painting. His cartoons have been published in 10 books, and he actually won awards for these cartoons. Later on in prison, he took up bare-knuckle boxing again, and he even bare-knuckle boxed a dog, which he ended up taking out. He said it's something he was not proud of because he loves animals, but he did need the 10,000 pounds he got from doing this. A few years later, he was out of prison, but a few years later, he robbed a jewelry shop to get a ring for his new girlfriend. He was soon arrested and taken to Leicester Prison. While he was there, he tried another prison protest, but failed. He was then taken to Brixton Prison, 
But there he was put into isolation after throwing water at the prison governor. He then was moved to a prison in Durham. There he bonded with a family of rats which had crept into his cell and later he was moved to Long Latin Prison. At first he settled in there pretty well, but he later went over the edge and did a nude riot. He also created a spear with a broken bottle and a broom handle. He was then let out for 53 days, but he then tried to rob someone with a sawn off shotgun and was put back in Woodhill Prison. While he was there, he took a civilian librarian hostage. To let them go, he demanded an inflatable doll, a cup of tea, and a helicopter from the police. But after the librarian broke wind in front of him, he let him go. Bronson then married a woman named Fatima Saria Riman. Due to his new marriage, he converted to Islam. For a brief time, he changed his name to Charles Ali Ahmed, but then changed back after they broke up. In 2013, he made a petition which was signed by 10,000 people. This was to try and release him from prison. It was sent to then Prime Minister David Cameron, but he rejected it. In 2014, Bronson injured a prison governor in HMP Woodhill, and a year later changed his name to Charles Salvador in tribute to Salvador Dali, his favourite artist. In 2017, he proposed to a famous actress who was on a prison visit. Paula Williamson, who's appeared in Coronation Street and Emmerdale, said Charlie is a changed man. But after Bronson asked Williamson to wear a cat suit next time she visited, she broke up with him. About one month later, Williamson was found at her home not alive. So far, the cause is unknown. And that brings us to right now. Charles Bronson is currently incarcerated at Her Majesty's Prison, Woodhill, and it's thought he will be there for life. He's 67 right now, and who knows how long this guy will live. But one thing's for sure, he has lived an amazing and scary life. And I think it's now pretty clear why this man is the most feared prisoner in the world. But now it's time to make your voice heard. Do you think this guy should ever be released from prison? Vote in the poll in the top right corner and let me know. If you want some more amazing videos, check out my second channel. But as always, thanks for watching. There's some more videos on screen right now. Leave a like if you enjoyed, and if you haven't already, what are you waiting for? Subscribe to Top 10s.